somehow, in between being one of the best tennis players in the world, endorsing a multitude of companies, and doing different philanthropic work, Roger Federer finds the time to also be a father. Federer, who is seeking his 21st Grand Slam title, he and his wife Mirka have four kids together. And from the looks of things, the 39-year-old's work as a dad is just as impressive as his forehand. Here's everything you need to know about all the many Fed exes. Number 1. Myla Rose and Charlene Riva were born July 23, 2009. Remember that instant classic 2009 Wimbledon final that saw Federer outlast Andy Roddick, 16-14, in the fifth and final set? It was an unbelievable feat of both physical and mental fortitude, and Federer did it despite one particularly large distraction in his home life. His wife Mirka was about to give birth to his first child, actually his first children. Less than three weeks after Federer's Wimbledon victory, Mirka gave birth to twin girls, Myla Rose and Charlene Riva. The future women's doubles number one, probably, who are now 11 years old, have become common fixtures at Federer's biggest matches. They also mock him when he cries during movies. Federer said he watched Finding Neverland with his daughters and he was bawling the whole time. They said, Daddy, what's wrong with you? Number 2. Leo and Leonard were born May 6, 2014. Happy first birthday, Leo and Lenny Federer. Bellos. That's right, more twins. Nearly five years after giving birth to twin daughters, Mirka welcomed two boys, Leo and Leonard, to the world in May 2014. This is the best day of my life, Federer said, when he found out we were having twins. It was like one of those moments when you're like, wow, I can't believe it. It's really happening again. Bob Bryan, who has won 16 major doubles titles with his twin brother Mike, was excited. But he may have to start worrying about his records now. Leo and Lenny, hashtag the future, hashtag twins rule. The boys made their first courtside appearance in January during one of Federer's Australian Open practices at Melbourne Park. Number 3. Federer won't force his kids into tennis. For all the jokes about his kids becoming future doubles champions, Federer has made it clear that he won't be overly invasive or force his children to do something they don't enjoy. I don't know if the kids are ever going to play tennis at a high level like that. Honestly, I think it all depends on how things are going to be when we settle in Switzerland and what sport they are going to take up. But I think for any kid, it's important for them to enjoy what they're doing, whatever sport that is. Number 4. Federer rented a house for himself and a house for his family during Wimbledon. Ah, the things you're able to do when you've won over $130 million in career prize money and have millions more coming in via endorsements. During Wimbledon, Federer, who wanted his family with him but also needed to get his sleep, reportedly rented two houses, one for Mirka and his four children, and one for him and his team. Each house was worth four million pounds, about $6.2 million, costing him around £30,000, about $46,000 total to rent for two weeks. Number 5. Federer's sister also has twins. Federer and his sister Diana, apparently it runs in the family. But I always felt that there was a chance, said Federer, after the mathematical odds were again defied and his twin boys were born. My sister Diana has twins, a boy and a girl, and my grandmother on my mom's side was a twin, apparently. So, I guess that we jumped a generation, 